Hello, today we're going to look at soldering and soldering equipment. So soldering safety really and soldering equipment and the equipment we're going to use. So let's just run through the equipment we've got on the table here. Here we've got a roll of solder. This is the soldering iron. So this is the soldering iron. With the soldering iron we have two main parts. The insulator handle which is cool, which you can hold, and the copper tip, which is hot and you mustn't touch. The soldering iron, when you're not using it, goes into a stand. This is a soldering iron stand. It's got a heavy base and it's also got a spring here which will warm up but will not burn you. In the soldering iron stand there is a sponge and we'll look at that in a minute. The sponge is moistened with a little bit of water, it's not wet, it's just damp and we can use that when we touch you can see that there when we touch the soldering iron onto the soldering iron sponge it forms steam which then cleans the tip of the soldering iron so we have a clean tip of the soldering iron. The other equipment we will use is goggles when we're soldering, we wear the safety goggles to stop any molten solder or anything getting in our eyes. So we've got safety goggles. We've got wire strippers. Wire strippers are used for, they have a small space here. We can use them to take the insulation sorry, insulation there, off of the wire. If you look at the wire there, we've taken the insulation off and that's the wire strippers. The wire cutters or the side cutters as these are actually just cut the wire. So the last thing that we're going to use for this equipment, so we've got soldering iron, soldering iron stand, sponge, solder, wire cutters, wire strippers, goggles and last of all when we're using it we used it on something like this cutting mat the soldering iron will melt the cutting mat we use it on the table it can make a bit of a mess so we use these boards here these boards as you can see there's a little bit of a, um, a mess here this is from the flux from the solder but it means that we can touch the soldering iron on here and it sort of limits the amount of damage we might do so that's the soldering iron board. So that's all the equipment. The safety rules, obviously when you first get a soldering iron, just check the, the cable. And always if you're using any kind of extension lead or cable, just be aware of where you're running that and not having it. You see I've got, I'm not, I've got a really tight cable here. I've, I've got cable to use. When I'm not using the soldering iron, obviously I'm not go only going to handle the soldering iron by the handle here. Um, I'm not going to touch the tip. And when I'm not using the soldering iron, I put it back in the stand. With the soldering iron, I'm going to melt the solder, but I work with a small amount of solder. Obviously, when I'm using the soldering iron, I'm going to wear my goggles. I'm going to put those on. And when I'm melting you're using the soldering iron I clean the tip as I showed you before use the solder melt the solder here and I don't melt the solder unnecessarily I don't make solder blobs or chase it around because it's as you can see here it makes a mess it also if I do melt a bit of solder there you can probably see that it does create fumes and unnecessary melting of the solder creates the fumes we're working in a ventilated well ventilated space but unnecessary creation of fumes like that just makes makes things worse so limited just use the solder when you're soldering or when you're doing the task and then you finish with it obviously with the wire cutters you're not going to cut anything that you you shouldn't cut you're just going to use them correctly they're not for cutting paper or anything else like that to so just use them for the task um, that you're meant to Lastly, with the soldering iron, you don't melt anything else. So we're not melting anything else or touching it on anything else. As we've said before, 
when you've finished with it or when it's not in your hand it goes into your stand okay so that's just a run through on the soldering equipment that we're going to be using for this task